Did someone say something? What? I heard someone say something. Anyway, my name is Sean, actually. It's not following TCG, that's the name of the channel. <laughs> what am I doing? Hi, welcome back to another YouTube video, and uh, we have another challenge series episode. And uh, today, instead of doing no supporters, we're going to be doing no items. If I can find a deck, I was a bit stupid and actually didn't take the time to find a deck. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be the challenge here. Uh, it's a bit scary, but uh, when it comes to this type of video, I think the best Pokemon that we could use here would be... Bennett GX and uh, I think it's pretty good because we're going to be using pretty much only supporters uh, It's going to be such a tough game. There's no ultra ball to be able to search out these Pokemon There's no choice bands to work with or um, any any sort of pool search, which is Insane um, having no ball search is just is, is is a really hard thing to work around So we're gonna see if we can do it in this deck here. I'm a bit excited um, actually to try this out and also a bit scared because this could go completely Anywhere you could go any way should I say um, Weirdly enough I, at the start of the video I picked up this back scratcher which is missing a finger. I Don't know why I have that but apparently I do <laughs> Anyway, let's get into this game and see how it goes um, Now I actually want to give a quick shout out to the person who did call it out. Is it my fault that I didn't actually um, Check who actually uh, requested it. Yeah, that's kind of my bad So I'm gonna just take the time here whilst I'm letting this load up to get it quickly um, let's do this. There we go. So we have Eric Bailey, who's the one that did shout that one out. So uh, thank you for shouting that one out. Um, and of course, I will be taking every other uh, recommendations consideration. Speaking of, there's been so much support on that video and uh, so many requests. So thank you so much for that. Um, if you do want to leave your requests for what challenge I should do next, uh, do leave it in the comments down below. That's the best place to do it. Um, so yeah, Eric Bailey is the one that did shout this one out. So, um, or suggest this one. So yeah, shout out to you. And um, there also was another one that did get a lot of support. So I might do that one after this. It all depends really. Um, but yeah, the idea of this deck is just to, just to use uh, Burnett to our fullest extent, discard almost everything as much as we can um, to really go for the deck. Like I think uh, Zev Striker is really good in this deck. Um, all right, let's just get the lights on the labs out. Yeah, so Strike is really good in this deck because it just gets us, allows us to discard a ton of support cards, which usually happens here. Ingo and Emmett allows us to do that as well. So as long as we get a ton of support cards in a discard pile really quickly, this deck stands a chance. That, that's the only way I think I can make a deck like that work. Um, obviously, being weak to dark is the worst possible outcome with us coming up against a dark deck. But nonetheless... Um, this is going to be quite an exciting one. So, yeah, why lies the Labs? Well, because we can't play any Choice Bands ourselves or anything down that line, uh, we might as well shut their one off as well. Um, I think that's a pretty good way to utilize that. So, uh, yeah, because I uh, just want to reiterate, it is no items, not only supporter cards. So we can play a stadium. So um, that was a, a pretty cool thing I was able to utilize. Um, I was really contemplating just going for an ability to get Pokemon Search, like going for Grovile, maybe with a... Um, what list am I thinking of? Actually, let's just make this turn here. We're actually going to go for Plumeria, which works pretty well in this deck. It just gives us some extra utility to work with, and then we'll go for Sprint. Um, I actually lost my train of thought there. I think, yeah, I was going to go with Grovile for um, like a an Executor list story, is what I wanted to say. But I thought Executor was a bit too... Um, I want to say generic is the word, but it's a bit too overused, I guess, as a, as a rogue deck. So I don't think you guys would really want to see something um, that generic. I don't like using the term generic for that, but that's what I would use. Um, I want, and let's just say I wanted something a bit more creative. Let's go for Faber and let's remove... Oh, I didn't know... Oh, your Faber's only for special energy. <laughs> so it goes to show how little I use Faber. Um, all right, let's go for another sprint. Come on. We need to hit our bonnets. There we go. So, yeah, Zep Strike is really good because it just lets us really search for our Pokemon. Considering we don't really have any effective Pokemon search. The only Pokemon search I've got in this deck is um, Fan Club and Elm. So, Fan Club is just to get some Lele's out because we play three Lele's. Obviously, it's a, it's a supporter only deck. We're going to be playing Lele. So, we have three Lele's in here. So, um, yeah, Fan Club allows us to get the Lele's for the turn after. It's pretty neat. Um... Oh, okay, so they actually got rid of the Lysander Labs. I think we only played two, maybe three at best. Um, but yeah, so Zeb Striker is such a key in this deck. But it's going to be so hard to just get a win with this. 
with how clunky and slow it is. Being able to play only one card effectively per turn is so <laughs> slow. <laughs> um, but we can work. We can make do, right? Uh, I kind of want to go for a Guzma here and just start getting at this for the time being. Yeah, it is a bit silly because we are just... Might as well get an energy down there for a retreat or something, I guess. Um, just walking into a potential KO in, 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 the, in, the, in the long run, I guess. But um, we're getting everything out, which is good. Let's just go for a... We could shady move. We could shady move. How much have we got here? So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's uh, 110 minus 20. That's 90. That'd be 100. That's not really a f relevant maths. So I guess we'll leave it as for the time being because we can just nine yeah one we can two shot this oh wait they're not resistant to psychic oh okay fair play um in that sense that that damage move wouldn't have been necessary at all um so i guess this is a good card to talk oh no you did not just come up here no you did not that is the bane of my existence right now i do not like you <laughs> stop it i don't think i play any non-gx cards in this deck <laughs> we might have to just insta quit this, you know. We might have to just get out of it and just get another game because this game is going to be well incompletable, if that's the word I want to use. Uh, let's let's search our deck right now. Power. Let's see what's going. On. Power. Oh, let's see what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> I did not once think about Hooper. <laughs> Funnily enough, it did get. I think Hooper and Reggie Giggs got a top. Was it a top eight? A top 16 in the most recent, in, in a Denver regional? Is it Denver regionals? Am I thinking right? We'll, we'll try and work around it with Guzman for the time being. We can't see how it goes. But I am not a fan right now of the, uh, of that thing existing. I'll tell you that for sure. I just don't think we're going to be able to work around it. We could Delcati. We could Shady move until it, yeah, we could Shady, Shady move. All right, that's what we're going to do. We're going to slowly like grind it down with Shady Move. That's exactly what we're going to do. In that case, I should have done Shady Move before playing the Guzma, but it just didn't come to mind. So that we're just going to have to slowly take that thing down. Um, kind of funny, but it's it's actually quite doable now that I really do think about it. So, yeah, I, I guess we found some sort of way to work with this. I thought Delcati would be a, good, a cool little tech in this deck with uh, Ditto Prism Star, just to be able to uh, immediately recover a ton of supporter cards we're going to have in the discard pile whenever we may need it. So I thought it would be a cool tech. I mean, you're not going to see it here, but I thought it would be fun nonetheless. We could actually confuse it with Shop It. We could do that. Um, we could do that. That could really cause a bit of a ruck. I mean, it even hits us for weakness. Come on, man. Why are you doing that? Why are you going to be like that, man? All right. Let's just keep <laughs> Oh, my God. Okay. This is happening. We're actually just going to... We could Guzma uh, uh, and get another Shady move and then get a... Actually, that could be pretty good. I think for the time being, going for a Guzma play does work out. Um, let's get an energy on this... No, we don't get it on the shop it. We get it on this. We don't want them to think we're going to use the shop it. That's what's going to happen. Uh, shady move here. Move that to this. So we are somewhat dealing with the Hooper in a very um, niche way. <laughs> That's the, what, the word I want to use. Is niche the correct term? I'm not 100% sure. But we are dealing with it somehow. Uh, we can't use Blitzhorn anyway, which is a bit of a shame. We could use Delcati, but we can't now because we've used our, our Ditto. So, um, that's, that's such a yikes, man. That's such a yikes. We might have to just lose a Binet just trying to deal with this. I mean, we are moving damage pretty effectively here. Um, yeah. Okay, we'll just go for the confusion. I was considering doing another shady move, but we'll just go for the confusion for now. Let's Cynthia into something. <laughs> I don't think we got any other Guzmas. We must have prized the last one. I think we play five. We can Plumeria. That can cause some issues for them. That's good. Okay. Come back, microphone. Thank you. So if they want to attack, then they definitely have to risk the coin flip, which is only going to add damage if they don't hit heads, which means we can deal with this Hooper. So, okay. Okay. Now, this deck in itself is not the best. It's a bit of an all-round dark deck. It's not that great. It doesn't seem to be very defined and in linear in its own strategy oh, god damn it yeah define a linear in its own strategy but nonetheless um it is something okay let's promote this one because we can 
um, do something at the very least. Okay, uh, let's attach here. Let's Plumeria away the fan club and the Ingo and Emmett and get rid of the DCE. There we go. Cause a bit more struggles. So we shady move you onto that. Yep, 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 yep. And then we're going to retreat to... Hmm. Do we retreat to the fresh one? Yeah, I guess we do. And then we go for another shady move from that one. Slowly heal ourselves and slowly put damage onto them. If they flip tails and they if they get to attack and they flip tails, then um, I'm thinking of doing a GX. My my yeah yeah yeah. Do you know what we should we should tomb hunt GX just to be safe and just get okay. So we're gonna get Lysander Labs and two Goose. Actually no no. Should we get Guzma, Lysander and Plumeria or should we just get Plumerias? Let's do that. We're gonna go for the meal with it. I was gonna think of Guzma so we can Guzma around stuff, but I think so long as we just stop them from charging up and attacking with the Hooper, we can work around it. So that's all right. We played 12 energy, um, primarily because we don't really have any energy search. We could have with Viridian Forest, but um, I think 12 energy is pretty good considering we're not playing that. So, oh no, stop it. What are you doing? What is this monstrosity? Okay, I think the Plumeria works a bit, which is kind of cool because we can just stop them from charging those things up. See, they got a DCE here. Ah, they get the knockout, but, but we can again go for the Plumeria, which is exactly what I wanted to do, just to really shut down their energy and stop them from really capitalizing. Um, okay, let's get rid of Lele and Zep Striker. And let's just get rid of that DCE. There we go. Okay. And then we can Shady move again. Onto you. And then we're going to retreat and then Shady move again. On to you. All right, sweet stuff. This is such a grinder of a game. Promote that uh, Lysander Labs just in case. Attach energy to here just in case. There we go. So uh, I don't really want to retreat too much now. I don't, I don't know how much energy I've got going on in the deck, but we've got a lot down. Um, we've got 10, so we have two more definitely. Um, so in that case, yeah, we need to be very careful. Okay, we have one more turn of the Hooper. I mean, if we have one more Shup It, which we do, we can go for another Confusion, but maybe we could save that for the, extra, the other Hooper they're going to be attacking with. Um, God, this turned out to be such a strange matchup. Such a strange matchup. I mean, how many DCEs do they have left? They have two more. So... See, so I'm considering Plumerying now, but I'd rather do it when they run out of the DCE. When they attach a DCE, sorry. Um, Loose would be good in here as well, but it's banned. Um, okay. Uh, questions, questions, questions. Do I just go for a shady move and pass? Do I Cynthia? Let's Cynthia. Let's see what we get. Oh, look, a ton of support card. <laughs> <laughs> uh let's shady move again onto this hooper yeah this this is just this is just where we're at maybe i gx'd a bit too soon not too sure oh, okay black market all right oh stop it what was all that really you got man why you gotta break my heart why you gotta do that man all right, I'm just going to keep Shady moving until I heal myself. This is going to be a grinder. An absolute grinder of a game. Uh, we can ace a roller as well. So, yeah, this is going to be a grinder. <laughs> this game's going to last forever. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Ah, we ain't quitting. <laughs> We're still going. <laughs> and I'm going to ace a roller this one that you're probably going to hit into this turn. Yeah, we are. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is going to take absolutely forever. I mean, you guys will know by the timestamp what actually happens at the end, but... I have no idea what to do right now because this 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 one could definitely be a bit of a grinder. Um, oh, they're going to Gladian, huh? Maybe they don't have any DCE and they got one in the prizes. Don't tell me they priced two DCE. That would be something. I will tell you that one for sure. Well, they are still two-shotting us, particularly because of the lice and the labs. So we are going to survive at least one turn. Um, I think what I'd do is Shady Move that onto here 
and then we can ace a roller retreat and go for confusion. That's what I'm thinking. Like at the very least. Oh, we're getting so low on energy though, man. All right, perplex. Here we go. Confuse them. Because I want to save the plumerias. Uh, oh, sorry, that plumeria for as long as possible. And I don't want to use it on a just a simple dark energy. I want to use it on a DCE. So I'm just waiting for them to drop that down so we can slowly just, yeah. The thing is that we can't right now, we can't go for any more shady moves, unfortunately. So it's a bit of a tricky one. They hit the tails. Good, 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 good. That's good news. That's good news. Um, we can Plumeria here just to force them to attach, but I really want to use that on a on a DCE. Um, okay. I think we are going to Plumeria here. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. There we go. Uh, pass. Okay. Um, this is just... Oh, this is a wreck. We have to hope they hit tails like so many times. Okay. Oh, don't just... No, don't. This deck is just... Oh. This deck is such a pain to play against. Like, they could just shut down our, our main... Shadow Chant attack, they hit tails. Yes. Um, if we ever so need it. So, yikes. I think we only have like two energy left or something. Oh. Oh, this is such a disaster. Please just hit tails. Please hit tails. Please. I have no plumerias left. This is so bad. Oh, no. Yeah, okay, they're going to go for a Lily. And the thing is, we can't, like... It, it, we lose if we just pass, 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 because we have a deck that's just so small right now. Like, this deck is designed to chew through... Um, oh, they hit the heads. <clears throat> Ooh, this is tight. This is tight. This is so tight. I can't handle it. I can't do this, man. What is this pain? What is this suffering? Okay, we're gonna shuffle. Yeah, we need energy. Okay, um, I guess we attach here. <laughs> Just pass. Oh no, we have two turns of them having to coin flip the tails just to get the KO. Oh, and then they just got another one ready to go. This is just this is just not gonna work. This is just not gonna happen, guys. I just don't see it happening. I think we're just going to have to scoop. Now that I see it. I mean. I don't see any way out of this at all. And if they hit the heads on here. They get KO as well. Which is just game. So. <laughs> I won't even have a chance to scoop. If they hit heads here. Oh they got to done it. They got to done it. Oh my god. Okay. We're going to get into another one here. That's just a bit of an unfortunate game. Um, such a bad matchup. But then isn't there so many bad matchups for this deck? I mean, there's no item cards. Let's be real. We'll try again. And do I accommodate for Hooper? Let's just gamble on not hitting a Hooper again. And I swear to God, if we hit a Hooper, I'm going to go ballistic. Please, don't be a Hooper. Don't be a Ninetales. Don't be something tricky. I see Dark type. Don't scare me. Don't scare me like this, man. I'm a bit, a bit afraid now. A little bit afraid. All right. Plasma. Um, okay. Mulligan. That happens a lot in this deck. Uh, what we want turn to ideally is Elm. Because um, if, as long as we can like Ingo and Emmett our, our cards away and just mill our own deck effectively or just get rid of all the trash, then uh, we can uh, set up. Like we need to set up. But... Um, this deck can be good, so long as we are not up against the Hooper. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that was so bad. That was so bad. Um, yeah. I, I'm, I'm going to bank on this not being a Hooper deck. And it's probably going to be a Xorak or a Guzzlord or... I don't know, man. I've heard people uh, actually give Guzzlord a bit of talk recently. Um... 
primarily with like beast ring and stuff but i still don't think it's that good a card but i mean hey i'm sure i'm sure some someone has worked something out with guzzlord already but not enough for it to break any sort of top tier play all right what is this just just hit me with it man hit me with it do we start the ditto i think we have to and just treat it like a shop it which means we don't get to use delcati but that's fine we do have a lot of recovery through our GX attack anyway. Um, you have to wait for this permanent to... Hello! Are they going to play? I don't know if this person's AFK or not. Because I don't know if they're actually thinking about what to do. Or if their timer is just going down until they have to pass up. But I don't want a free victory. I want this to be an actual challenge. right? That's the name, isn't it? Challenge series. But... Um, yeah, back to what I was saying earlier, I believe, about the, the, the support on it. It's been incredible, and um, there is so much that I'm going to look at, and uh, so many cool things. And uh, just a quick update as well on the um, series of... Okay, Lele is good. Um, on the second series, I'm going to announce it very soon. Uh, it's probably going to be announced over on my Discord, so if you want to see it there announced, so you can kind of get ahead of the game, um, then you can. Just jump into my uh, description, and you'll see the Discord link there. For you to play. I got a text message. Um, oh yeah. Look at all that. Oh yeah. Alright. Let's just lay everything out. Like yeah I know. I'm being I'm being, being a bit reckless there. But uh, we're going we're gonna to do that. <laughs> you do nothing to me this game. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, but yeah you can go into my uh, my Discord server. And find the link there. And it will probably be announced there. And how to do it. And then uh, when I upload the first video of the new series. Then I'll, I'll say in that video. But if you want to do, do, if you do want to get. If I can speak English. A quick head start. Then uh, jump over to the Discord. And you'll see it there. I don't think it will be at the end of this video. But it will be announced soon. Maybe this weekend. I'm just fine-tuning a few other things i have mentioned it in the discord so some of you do know but um i'm not exactly fully decided on how exactly i want to think how, how, how exactly i want it to process so i'm just working on that but um yeah this guy ain't gonna do nothing to my to my deck with with a garbador so that's kind of just like a sigh of relief until they drop a hooper because they got a dark type on that box for something right unless this is uh, zora garb maybe i'm not too sure now, the real question is, is this guy actually AFK, though? Because there's a lot of just sitting there doing nothing. Yeah, he's AFK. Um, I don't know how to react. I can't even one-hit KO this thing yet, right? Oh, wait, I can. Just be safe. I don't, I don't know if I can or not. I don't know if my math is right. Yeah. I think, yeah, now I definitely want it going. <laughs> okay, let's get to another one. What was that? Just AFK town. All right. But well, we're going to leave that town with the... Uh... I don't know what that was. I'll be honest with you. I won't be honest with you. Do you know what? It's been really hard to get recently. I've been trying to find a Zebra Aura GX. And then I found out it's worth like 15 packs. I'm like, what? I, I mean, bear, bear in mind, it is like a... Um, top tier card being in Picarom and Picarom just dominating the meta game right now. Zero Aura is going to be expensive. As these other cards that like fit in the deck like Marshadows have suddenly just rocketed up in price when it started becoming so meta post-rotation. Um, that's just the nature of the game. So uh, I just so salty about it because I was looking at the trademark and I've got nothing and I was sitting there going oh I remember sitting there having like set them out of packs and the Zero Aura was available and I was like nah. But then you can't predict the future, right? You can't predict how a meta will work and how it will, how it will change and function. I mean, you can to some degree because you understand. You can look at sets before they come out. But um, when it comes to market, it's, it's, it's a little bit unpredictable to some degree. Um, so, yeah, that was a bit of a pain in the ass because I've actually got a deck that is super fun and it requires a aura. <laughs> Not as the main attack or anything. It's just a tech card in there. And uh, the deck would be so much better with Zero aura and I just can't bloody get it. But I will... Eventually, maybe this weekend. I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah. All right, so this is okay. Yeah, I guess. Is this a courage yet? No, it's not. It's Garchomp. As soon as I saw the dragon on that box, I'm like, yes, yeah, Garchomp. We're playing Garchomp. Okie dokie. Um, we need to take out these Ryulus, which means we need to utilize our Guzmas here. Uh, as much as we can. Okay, they definitely must have a good hand if they're getting rid of those two things. I'll tell you that. Um, yeah, we definitely need to go for a... 
really, 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 really focus on using Argus as well. Because um, this deck does not function if it does not have Lucario in play. And Lucario is weak to Psychic, which means we just need one supporter in a discard pile to be one-shotting it. So it's such an achievable KO. Um, well, Ryulu, when it comes to Lucario, we do need to be hitting 60 damage. So we need three in a discard pile. But so long as we take this out, then we should be good to go. Um, also, Plumeria is pretty dope. But we're not going to do Plumeria now. We want to set up first. That's what we want to do. We want to get everything out. In that case, I shouldn't have attached the energy so recklessly. I think I should have attached it to a bench shop it or something. Now that I think about it, uh, let's, let's do these three. So we have a bit more versatility in what we use and have. Let's do that. And let's just go for Perplex. I mean, I doubt they're going to be doing anything other than just retreating and evolving. But Plumeri is going to be really sick because um, Garchomp's biggest flaw is, well, one, you can't play Guzma. <laughs> Otherwise, you're not hitting crazy damage. Um, two, uh, the energy attachment is really slow. So, so long as we uh, Plumeri and get rid of their DCEs and stuff, it's going to be super hard for them to pull off uh, what they want to pull off. So... I'm pretty uh, pretty chuffed about that, I'll be honest. <laughs> so they're probably going to retreat of to Lucario and go for Ascension. That's going to be my guess. Um, it's pretty much what every Garchomp player would do in this scenario, if I think about it. Um, and in that case, we're definitely going to Plumeria off the active. And we might have to just hit into it rather than guzma the Lucario. Uh, considering they've got another Ryulu down, they're just going to evolve into another one. Or that's just the odds of it, right? So we might as well just slow them down a little bit with the energy issues that they might come to face whilst we're playing Plumeria. So that's just uh, what's going on in this old good noggin. Um, yep, they're going to get the other Lucario. I'm assuming they're going to retreat before they evolve. Oh, wait, no, it already has one retreat cost. I don't know what I'm saying. All right. You're going to retreat or you're actually going to just attach an attack? No, they can't do that because they attach to this. Yeah, they have to retreat. Maybe they're trying to fish for an escape board. That would be my second guess. Now, they do have... Dragon and Fighting Gabites. That's a bit weird. Usually you'd stick one or the other, like going with a uh, Brooklyn Hill. Works really well. But that be me. Am I right? Okay, we're going to evolve and just Plumeria our, our, everything away. I don't want to double Plumeria that stuff, though. But I guess we could just Tomb Hunt if we really need to. But leaving that uh, Lucario active, boy. Boy, that's troublesome. That is troublesome. I think we're KOing it. Yeah, the one hit KOing that. They haven't got... Yeah, mate. Leaving that in the active did not do you any favors. All right, let's promote that stadium. Kind of force him to counter stadium. We don't need to go for the retreat now or anything, but... All right, big head start there. Good stuff. Um, they can get the guard chomp out still and go for um, their precognitive aura, but they're not going to really work or pull anything off with it. So what I can do next turn is considering we're in a much better spot, is go for a Guzma on that Lucario and take it out. Um, but they might be preemptively setting themselves up for next turn. Because they might be now getting a Cynthia with a Fighting Energy in hand, waiting for next turn and just pass so they can just attach Cynthia. That might be what they're doing. That's what I would do at least. Just prepare for Lucario to go down. Um, at the very least. Okay. With that said, I think we just go for that. Yeah. And I'm going to sprint here because I don't think we're going to need Acerola considering this deck really aims to one-shot us. So I think that's the smart move here. Yeah, we can do that. And uh, I think we can actually use that Ditto with Delcati to recover some Guzmas and Acerolas or Plumerias depending on what we need at the time. So they have actually welcomed a knockout on this Lucario. So that tells me that they've got the combo already in their hand. Otherwise, they would not promote the Lucario. That's for sure. They'll probably leave the Garchomp. Um, that's, that's, that's my thought process anyway of it. But uh, yeah. So they're probably going to promote it. Attach Energy Cynthia KO. Um, and then we just have to come in with either... Well, hopefully a Delcati and just recover Plumeria's... Um, and just get rid of their energy to really slow them down again. Just to, <laughs> like, hold up. No, no. <laughs> Stop getting so excited. Calm down. <laughs> um, I think that's what we do. Oh, wow. They're just going to Royal Blades without the Cynthia. Oh, buddy. Oh, no. You did, didn't done do that, did you? 
did that even make sense? Stop dropping microphone, please. Give me some love. Okay. Um, yeah, we're just going to Ingo and Emma here, I guess. And we can actually retreat to a fresh one. Oh, Cynthia? Yeah, we'll take that. Um, we do get the free retreat, so we might as well shady move. What damage are we doing here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're doing 110. Uh, so we're not KOing it regardless of this shady move. So I guess we can just put a bit of pressure on the Gibble or something. Or should I say to that Rockcroft? They're probably going to... Oh, I don't know what, what Lycan Rock they're going to throw up though. Okay, we'll put it on that because that could be a good GX knockout if it is Lycan Rock GX. Uh, then we go for the free retreat. Then we go for Lysander Labs. And then we get all these supporters in the discard pile. Okay, maybe that shady move would have worked. No, it wouldn't. It would not have worked because we hit 130 max. Oh, yeah, we got the Delcatty in hand as well. Sweet! Oh, wait, double shady move. We could have done it! We could have actually got the one-hit KO on this Garchomp if I wasn't so stupid. But, hey, please don't hurt me. I'm stupid. <laughs> there we go. 130, right? Yeah, okay. I mean, here's what it is. Before we one-shot this Garchomp, if we get into that scenario where we do, we can shady move some uh, energy away from it into other stuff so that's that's cool that's cool all right so at least this deck is doing what i want it to do um it's utilizing the fact that we can't play item cards by just well doing as much a ton of damage with one energy for having a ton of supporters in the discard pile it allows us to use delcat is effective versus seeker very effectively which is good we shut them down a little bit we slow them down with the plumerias it seems like we have a lot of control which is good and um, considering that consider uh well Considering that our deck is incredibly slow, slowing them down and shutting off some of their resources is quite valuable. All right, they've just gone for the quit, and I really don't have enough time to get another video, uh, another game going, sorry, and this video's gone for long enough. So much so that my brain is starting to fry, as you can tell by my lack of language. <laughs> but with that said, let me show you the list. Um, again, quite an all-round video, quite like ups and downs, I'd say. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below of this video and of course any other suggestions for any other challenges you have that would be really appreciated uh, this is the deck if you do want to challenge yourself and you are a bit bored go ahead and give this a shot obviously it's not a good deck that's the whole point of the series right it's just to try something uh, completely outlandish and it's going to intentionally be hard to do hence why it being a challenge um, but yeah with that said, do leave a like if you did enjoy it, and of course do subscribe for more. But up until tomorrow, please do take care, and peace.